Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe Audition CC 2020. Today's tutorial is for Mac OS users only and I am using the June 2020 version of Adobe Audition. And I'm going to show you how to set your system as the default input and output in the audio hardware preferences of Adobe Audition. To change the audio hardware preferences in Adobe Audition, come up here to the top menu, click Adobe Audition, Preferences, and then select Audio Hardware. To change the default input and the default output to the Mac OS system defaults, all you need to do is select this drop down and select System Default. I'm going to do the same for the default output, System Default. To change the audio input and output on your Mac, press the Option key and click on the volume icon in the menu bar. You could also go to Sound Preferences and change the output and input that way, but it's a lot easier if you just hold the Option key and click on the volume icon. For the output device, I'm going to select Telestream Audio Capture since I'm using ScreenFlow to record this tutorial. By selecting this, this will allow me to record the audio coming out of Adobe Audition into ScreenFlow. And for input, for this tutorial, I'm going to select internal microphone. That is the microphone on my iMac. So you'll really be able to tell the difference. So we're back in Adobe Audition. Let's just recheck the audio hardware settings. Go to Adobe Audition, Preferences, Audio Hardware. So we've got the default input set to System Default. And the default output is also set to System Default. That means that whatever we have selected up here in our Mac menu in the sound preferences is going to be automatically used in Adobe Audition when we record audio. So I'm just going to click OK. Let's just record some audio. This is a tutorial for Mac users only in the June 2020 version of Adobe Audition. We're not going to make any changes in Adobe Audition. It is still set to system default. But we're going to come up here to the Mac settings. I'm going to press the Option key and click on the volume icon. I'm going to change the input device from the internal microphone. I'm going to change it to my Scarlett 4 i 4 audio interface. And now when I record an audio clip, you should be able to tell the difference between this microphone and the internal microphone of the computer. So if you want to be able to use your Mac OS system-wide default output and input devices in Adobe Audition, just go into the audio hardware preferences and change the default input to system default and change the default output to system default. My name is Mike Murphy. That is your quick tip in Adobe Audition CC 2020. Cheers.